be. Okay, cute, cute, cute. T C P F A Q. Hello. Hello there. Hi. What's up, guys? Hi. Hey, everyone. Hi. <laughs> My name is Noel Holloway. Andrew Brockman. Olivia Beatty. Thomas Levine. Enrique Batista. Casey Collins. Ed Dunlop. Cameron Leach. Bree Trainer. Michael Goodman. Drew Worden. My name is Christian Moreno, and I am a former intern for Third Coast Percussion. I did my internship with Third Coast Percussion during the summer of 2018, so about two years ago now. And nowadays I'm back in Rochester studying to get my doctorate in percussion at the Eastman School of Music. I interned with Third Coast Percussion in the spring of 2017. I am currently the Director of Education and Outreach with the Missouri Symphony in Columbia, Missouri. I interned for Third Coast Percussion in June 2019. I am currently a junior at Virginia Commonwealth University, finishing off my semester. I interned with Third Coast uh, during July of 2019. Currently, I am the percussion coordinator for the University of Pittsburgh's uh, athletics band. My internship with Third Coast Percussion, which was from uh, May 2013 until the end of August. Currently, I'm the artistic planning coordinator at the Minnesota Orchestra. Uh, when I interned for Third Coast, I was a freshman in college at DePaul, and that was around 2013. I'm currently a freelance percussionist and artist, but due to uh, the coronavirus, I am unemployed and in quarantine. So, having a lot of fun doing that. I interned with Third Coast Percussion in, I believe, 2013, after I graduated. I run several retail websites for um, a specialty outdoor company, Uncle Dan's, Gearhead Outfitters, and Rock Creek Outfitters. I also freelance uh, with web design and graphic design. I am a first year master's student studying with Svet Stoyanov in Miami, and I worked at Third Coast during the summer of 2018. I interned with Third Coast Percussion in 2018 as part of the program I was in, the DMA in Contemporary Music at Bowling Green State University. I'm currently in the city of Florianópolis in Brazil. I just passed my DMA document defense last week, so I'm finishing the last edits to my document. I was with the group during the summer of 2017 for their yearly artist residency at Notre Dame. Nowadays, um, I'm traveling as a a percussion soloist and a chamber musician. And so most of my income is from performing recitals, multimedia shows, and giving clinics and master classes. Um, I interned with TCP in 2016, which happens to be during their 10 year anniversary. You can see from that stick. I am currently an operations manager for special projects engineering. Um, we're based in Mason, Michigan. As of now though, thanks to the lockdown, I am a freelance composer, but who knows what will happen, so. <laughs> I'm the Assistant Dean of Entrepreneurship at the New England Conservatory and the co-founder of a percussion and songwriting collective called The Big Trouble. I interned with Third Coast Percussion in the summer of 2013 and it was awesome. One cool thing I did was to help put on a performance of John Luther Adams' Anuxuit in Fayetteville, Arkansas while I was there. Hanging out in Chicago for the summer, which quickly became one of my favorite cities ever. I got to perform Ligeti's 100 metronomes with them at the University of Chicago. At one time in particular, I uh, got to drive the big U-Haul truck back from Notre Dame uh, to Chicago all by myself. And that was very scary. Um, one really cool project I helped with uh, was the recording of David T. Little's Haunt of Last Nightfall. Um, it's a great recording. If you haven't heard it yet, I highly suggest you check it out. Um, and it was definitely an experience I don't think I could have had anywhere else um, because of working closely with David and working with all the guys and kind of helping them take notes during the recording session. It was just a really cool um, experience. Helping TCP at Hyde Park, mainly with the educational program that they had. It was fascinating because it obviously showed that, you know, when you work with a new music ensemble, this one in particular, really focused on education. Actually, my birthday dinner. I, I had my birthday towards the end of the internship, and the guys were nice enough to take me out for a steak at this really cool place called the Crooked U in South Bend. And so I'll never forget that. I've actually driven back just to 
eat dinner at that place again because I, I really like it. Building the, the bell stand for the bell ringer project, which um, was just super cool to see it come from like a sketch on a piece of paper to a rendering and then to actually be part of helping to construct that. One concert that we needed to, to move all the equipment for, as you do, and the freight elevator in their building broke down the night of the concert. So we got to carry everything down by hand. Three flights of stairs down, marimbas, vibraphones, you know, everything. So bass drums and then and then back up uh, either that night or like the next day or something. But um, that was especially fun, <laughs> question mark. I'd have to say that it was the Gallagher Way show. So this was the last show of Third Coast season, and it was at this new facility by Wrigley Field where the Cubs play called Gallagher Way. So there was a big grassy area, giant television screen behind the stage. It was a really cool place, and it was like any other show. You know, we got up early in the morning, got to the studio to load up a ton of instruments that we'd packed the night before, and we had everything set up by 1 p.m., including a laptop and a bunch of microphones and wireless body packs. And of course, it seems like as soon as we finished setting up, it started to just downpour, complete torrential downpour. I had to run back so that we could all put tarps over the instruments and the electronics and save everything. And fortunately we did. And despite all that, and despite the fact that the green was completely muddy and soaked, people still came. And that was really the amazing part. We still had hundreds of people come and they loved the show. They set up their chairs and blankets right in the mud and they, they stuck through it. And that was really cool to see. Something that I really gained from the internship was getting bitten by the arts administration bug, which led me to go on and pursue a graduate certificate in music business, which ultimately led me to the career that I am in today. How a group like this functions and how, especially financially, how they function, where they get uh, grants from and, and, and all that. An important thing I learned at Third Coast is that you need to have good sock game. Seeing behind the curtains in being a member or being involved in a professional arts group, there's so much planning and then like artistic planning and composition and programming and just TCP has so many well-rounded efforts in that. I think it really opened my eyes to how other groups or um, businesses do similar things. The ability to watch the team uh, execute, uh, plan, organize in the most efficient, professional way, I, I really gained amazing insight in how to do things correctly and how to ensure um, that you know, even when things do go wrong via Murphy's Law, uh, you are prepared and able to uh, perform at the highest quality. So it was really a pleasure to watch that. Getting a behind the scenes look at the business side of what it takes to run your own ensemble. We were going on a coffee run sometime for a break. They were happy to answer any of my questions that I had, which was great because I was really interested um, in kind of the business side of running your own ensemble for uh, my own career. So I really can't recommend the experience highly enough. It's the sense of community that I got from just like walking to the office and it's all the little things that you get from spending time with everybody there. It's just a really good sense of community and family. And you can tell how much passion that they have, not only for the work that they do, but how much, that they, how much they care about each other. And I think that's the biggest thing that I took out of my internship there. I was able to do a lot of different things, some of them um, a little bit more uh, clerical, uh, others more laborious, uh, <laughs> which was building on Glock and racks and changing a lot of drum heads or driving to Michigan to pick up tuned scuba tanks. Uh, but I think the real takeaway, besides gaining a better understanding of what it means to be in a chamber ensemble and how to run a nonprofit, um, I, I think the biggest takeaway would have been using the members of Third Coast as a wonderful resource and being able to pick their brains um, at, at night or you know going out for dinner or whatever and, and asking everybody about their certain roles within the group and learning from that and, and trying to take that to apply it to my own career you know and, and so looking back on that just about three years later I can say that some of that advice and some of those tips and tricks were the most formative things 
that I've had in my career thus far, and, and they've enabled me to have a successful career. Um, I gained some really important knowledge um, about what it takes to be both a performer um, and an administrator uh, to run a small uh, nonprofit performance group, and I witnessed uh, firsthand uh, the kind of teamwork involved and how everyone's skills, uh, though they were different on the administrative side, kind of came together to keep the group running, um, and I had a great experience and wouldn't change anything. Just edit out anything I mess up, okay? All right, here we go. Was that too long, Sean? You can, you can tell me if that was too much. Memory, memory, uh, <laughs> memory, but, but. <laughs> <laughs>